Good morning everyone, it's New Jersey Garden. Today I will be planting my cucumber, my alyssum, and my squash. I'm going to be planting the cucumber and the squash in little cups and then planting the alyssum directly in the ground. I'm going to be planting the Ukrainian slicing cucumber seeds and the swing cucumber seeds. I haven't tried these. The Ukrainian cucumbers did really, really well in my garden last year. And what I loved about them was the skin was extremely thin. So those of you who like to cut off the skin of the cucumbers, this didn't even need it. It was just so thin and delicious. So, um, by the way, seed companies have been selling out of seeds, but I went on to um, I got these at Hudson Valley Seed Company and I went on their website and they do say um, that they're you know they may be restocking so it's you know if you if those of you out there are still looking to buy seeds I would just check with the seed companies if they are if they're saying they're sold out just see if they're getting any more in stock this is definitely worth buying and it's sold out right now but and then for the squash I'm growing some patty pan squash these scallop sunburst squash they're the yellow ones I haven't grown these before. And then alyssum is a beneficial, uh, it attracts beneficial insects like hoverflies to the garden and hoverflies eat aphids. Um, this is carpet of snow. It's a very billowy white alyssum. It's an annual that self seeds. So if you plant it and you don't have too much mulch, you should get some the following year in your garden. And then there's a purple that hasn't done as great for me as the white, but it's called royal carpet. So I have a lot of seed packets of alyssum in here. And then I will be planting some slug pellets around my bok choy and lettuce and my Swiss chard that are growing in the vegetable garden. I got these um, slug gone wool pellets at the Philadelphia Garden Show a few years ago and I haven't tried them before so we're going to try them today for the first time. And I believe you just plant them around the base of the plants and water it in but I will read the instructions and let you know. I know for slugs you can use beer trays, like take aluminum trays and pour a little beer and then it traps the slugs at night. Um, and there's other methods for trapping slugs. If anybody out there wants to share tips on how to control slugs, um, please do share. Um, I'm definitely getting nibbles on my vegetables. And I'm going to be planting the um, some perennials in my garden today. I'm planting the black-eyed Susans in a front garden bed that I have and I'll show you that now. Okay so there's a couple lawnmowers going on um, right near me so I'm just gonna try to shout. I'm gonna plant these black-eyed Susans now and I'll show you um, what they look like. So I just planted about 18 black-eyed Susan plants in this garden bed. It was just easy to transplant these and I transplant them when they're pretty small. I mean they're only this big but they've been in the seed trays since February 28th and they weren't doing so great in the pots. They were kind of just sitting there not really growing and I know um, it's past our frost our last frost day here so since they've been on the deck for a month I, I know they're going to do fine in the garden here. And I'm excited to have Black Eyed Susans. I think they're going to be deer resistant. I don't know yet. I, I'm going to spray these for, um, for a while with deer repellent because deer love new seedlings. It seems like deer will always nibble on just about anything, especially if it's new growth. So I am going to be spraying these with deer repellent for a few weeks. And generally, I believe when they bloom, I'll have uh, fewer problems with the deer. That's the situation with the coneflower over here. I The deer will nibble on the coneflower and then after it blooms, it, it leaves it alone. So I will be spraying a lot of my garden um, today for deer. This is what I use to spray my plants. It's called Deer Stopper. Um, I just spray it once every couple of weeks. I definitely have to remember to spray after it rains because the deer will come out right after it rains to try to nibble. Um, the ingredients are, I don't know if you can read that, but it's putres putrescent whole egg solids, rosemary oil, and mint oil. And then the inert ingredients are kaolin, which is a clay, potassium sorbate, sodium chloride, vinegar, 
xanthan gum and water. And it's made by Messina's. And one of my neighbors uh, grew a lot of tulips recently and um, he said he uses this product for his tulips. So that's saying something because deer love tulips. So um, I'm gonna have to be buying more of this on Amazon this season. Today I will be putting some of this slug gone wool pellets in my garden to control slugs that have been nibbling on my plants, especially the bok choy. So um, I'll have to let you guys know how it works out, but right now I'm gonna be putting the pellets around each of my bok choy and around each of the lettuce seedlings as well as the Swiss chard. So these are what these pellets look like up close. And I hope they do form a barrier against slugs. I am finding little tiny black, I don't know if they're leaf hoppers, but these little black bugs that are hopping from leaf to leaf, so they may be nibbling as well. But um, I'm gonna water this in and hope this stops um, some of the slug damage. The bok choy have been growing and so have the Swiss chard. And what I'm gonna do is for some of these bok choy seedlings that are two per um, cup, I'm gonna be separating them into one each and I'll transplant plant these into the garden in about three weeks when they're ready to be transplanted. I planted both types of cucumbers and the patty pan squash into these round pots. I was going to put them into little cups, but I decided to just put them into these round pots. I did this last year at the same exact time with the cucumbers and in about two and a half weeks, they were ready to put out into the garden. So I expect between two and a half to three weeks to be able to put them out into the garden. And this is the first year I'm growing the patty pan squash, so we'll see what that looks like in a couple weeks. I'm gonna end the video with this shot of one of our apple trees. We have four apple trees and I'll show them next week when they're all in bloom. I just wanna say thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I do videos just about every week and I have over 90 garden videos from the last few years. And I just wanna say I hope everybody's staying healthy and safe and thanks again for watching.